came out while I was playing, man. <laughs> I wish Frankie was alive. It's the last song I played the other night. Thank you, Frankie Knuckles. I trust in the music from the past, okay? And I believe that if they're exposed to it and they listen to it, mostly with an open mind, they will like it, okay? And they will try to duplicate it. If they don't, then it wasn't meant for them in the first place. That's how I look at it. You know when you eat something and it tastes great, no matter <laughs> what it tastes like, okay? Well, same thing with music for me. You know, you hear a wicked tune, wicked instrumentation, and you're like, wow. I can't get all of that in one time, you know, I better listen to it again. Everything electronically has been done, every effect, every addition, subtraction, hybrid, uh, I don't know, it's all been done, fast, slow, whatever, so, you know, there's nothing like live instruments. Oh, well, again, if you play live instruments, you know, and you have the tools to separate it, and make it sound like it's by itself, or just take the bass off and you're hearing mid-range and, you know, guitars and all that of vocals, then that's a way of making it feel as live as possible, you know, and I like to make people feel like that, like they're in a concert, you know, and then they just happen to be up dancing. <laughs> I think having too many genres have uh, not done well over 20 years. Uh, I think it's made things really separated unnecessarily to the point where radio shows and certain clubs and everything is specified. And um, I think actually we're to a point where people are kind of bored with that and they want to hear different things. You know, no matter what age you are, you're just like, okay, I got that. Now what else is there around? Well, I'm not going to get into name dropping because I don't think that's fair. You know, I just know that there are a lot of young kids who are open now and they're like, I like my tech, but there's got to be something else going on out there. And the fact that, you know, they're always shazamming me for the whole set. <laughs> Must mean something, you know? So um, I'm optimistic, for sure. I would say Dave Mancuso is the, is the guru for me. Okay, that's where it started with me, you know? Church boy goes to a club and loses his mind, so. <laughs> I ain't gonna forget this trip, that's for sure. <laughs> <laughs>